Hello, this is Chetan from CSS Dev and UX. Today we'll be talking about detail and summary tag. And this is what it is. So from the surface of it, it looks like a collapsible panel or a accordion. And this has been around in HTML since years, but it's not been as widely used. People in their live project normally use a accordion or a collapsible from a library like Bootstrap that does this. But not many know that this can come out of the box in HTML. So how does this work? Let's see. So I've given here two examples of how it will look. So this is the bare bones of it when you just use HTML and nothing else. And this is what it can look like when you style it. So let's just get rid of all the finished look and try to create. Let's create this from the start. I have this code pen open here that I'll be using to demo everything. Okay. So in HTML, what you see here is details, summary, and a div. What this reflects to is let's just create one and see how it appears. So if I just write details tag and add some info here, even without the summary tag, it should appear. By default, the summary of this should be details. What the summary tag helps you with is it allows you to add a title for the panel and on click of it, here you go, on click of it, you'd see the content. Now you can wrap the content in a div or add multiple uh, HTML tags inside of it, that won't matter because everything inside the details tag would appear in the drop down. So this is neat. This is just the bare bones of it. Now, what if we wanted to create a styled a detail and summary tag? So this is how you would do it. Uh, let's just Let's just try to create one. Uh, let me just give it a class of style and head on, head on over to the CSS part of it. And let's say I have a details tag with the class of style. Now, first thing, maybe I want some padding on it. I want a border and probably a border radius let's see how that appears okay that's uh, maybe I have the class wrong or I have the spelling wrong this should work okay so as you can see uh, this already quite looks quite good now you see the outline here this is coming on the summary tag so let's just get rid of that. We don't want the outline on focus. Let's keep the outline as none. And uh, while we are on the summary tag, what we should do is possibly give it some indicator that it's clickable. So how we should do that as from a UX point is change the cursor to a pointer. So whenever you hover over it, you see the cursor changing and this gives an indication that it is clickable. Okay, cool. So how does this work in HTML? So how is this opening and closing? So if you look at, if you inspect this and you look at it, HTML itself adds an open attribute whenever this is open. So you see this tiled one. Now if I click on it, an open attribute is added which indicates that it should show all the content below the same happens for the bare bones uh, details tag and these are not connected if you open one it cannot close the existing one so how do you use this open to your advantage so let's try to do that so when we open you see there's no space between the title and the content so let's just add that so how do we do that is uh, let me just add some room here okay 
details with the attribute of open and a style of class then I want the summary to add some more padding at the bottom 1am now let's see what happens yeah you see the space here let me just increase it to something crazy like 6am you see that when it's closed it's normal when it's open it's this way and back to 1am that's fine but it's still not good enough uh, probably we should do a bit more so let's say when it's open we add we change the background color to something that looks like that it's highlighted and it's active one so we give like black with an alpha transparency of 10 percent uh, let's just add one more here to that will give us a good indication of how things are and there are multiple okay and probably we should add a margin bottom of 1 em yep this looks neat so as you can see here, uh, you can probably replace this uh, for a collapsible panel without using a library or depending on a library. And I feel uh, this is valuable tags. HTML has a lot of tags, probably 20-30% of it no one knows and no one uses in their live projects. This is one such tag that is kind of underrated and should be used uh, wherever you feel uh, you have an accordion collapsible sort of panel. All right. So how do we improve uh, this experience a bit more? Probably this opens in a uh, in a split second. Probably we should add some transition here. So how do we do that? Um, so in the detail style, we can add a transition property that applies to all elements that are changed when it's open. Take 0.4 seconds with the transition of ease in out okay let's see what that does so you see the background color takes 0 0.4 seconds but the height of it opens quickly probably this is because the height is in implied and we need to we need to specify the height and the transition for it to take place so let's just say the max height here 20 pixels and when it's open let's just bring this down and when it's open we want the max height to be a max of like 500 pixels okay now let's see what happens now you see the transition taking place is something else is also happening the text comes before the height has completed its journey. So maybe we should do overflow hidden. So it will never come outside the panel. Now let's see. Now this is neat. Okay, so here we covered a bare bones uh, detail and summary tag and also some CSS probably 20 lines of CSS that gives you this nifty thing now you can extend this thing with more styling probably if you don't want this arrow you can use pseudo classes on open and add your own custom arrows on top of it probably take the arrow on the right hand side and do something with it uh, you can also work around with the body part uh, you can wrap the body in a div and have its own custom styling when it's open so those are the things you can do with it so is it safe to use in your live projects i guess so unless you're still uh, work making sure that it works on i11 and below this is safe uh, if i if we use can i if we use the site can i use to check if details tags uh, are usable in i11 and opera mini 
it's not supported besides that all the other major browsers are supported even till the last one or two versions so it's pretty safe to use this uh, it can be styled and as we saw it, you can add transition effects as well all right that's it that was a uh, that was all that we wanted to speak about detailed summary tag if you like this video please click like and subscribe for more such videos thank you